This was Berlin 25 years ago Sunday, the day the Berlin Wall was opened and the Iron Curtain was shattered. Today, a portion of that wall sits on the Westminster College campus. Initially, when um, the sculpture was, was set up here, people were thinking about the significance of the Cold War ending. And I think then, as time went on, people would take the meaning of the breakthrough sculpture in a way as could be applied to many different situations. Sands obtained these eight sections of the Berlin Wall in 1990 and cut outlines of a man and a woman into the concrete. And I know it's my intention that you could walk through from the other side, which is a sort of a gray side, which nobody could get near. You walk through there and you can imagine making your own breakthrough, whatever it is might be on your mind. Soviet and East German authorities built the wall in 1961 to stop a flood of refugees seeking asylum in West Berlin. It came to symbolize the divisions of the Cold War for the next 28 years. On November 9, 1989, East Germans flocked to the wall after rumors spread that authorities would let them visit West Berlin. Officials backed down under pressure from the crowd. It cut across families living on, on, on both sides. It was a terrible thing for them, for the people living there. And they should understand that it's about the freedom and that we should all be able to have our own freedoms. Now these can come in many ways. It can be a personal freedom that you need. In Fulton, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13 News.